What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Why Body Nation. I'm heading to the dealership tomorrow, but it is not the Dodge dealership, and I'm picking up a very fast car that is going to give the 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body, obviously, a run for its money. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys think it is, but you're going to see tomorrow, so you don't have to wait long. Which brings up the point. Am I showing up pre-approved or am I just going to get my, you know, just going to let the dealer finance me? Well, I do plan to let the dealership make me an offer for financing. However, I am showing up pre-approved and I didn't just do one. I did two pre-approvals. So doing two pre-approvals uh, always lets you see that make sure, you know, you got the best offer on the table before you even walk into the dealership. One of the pre-approvals I got was through PenFed Credit Union. And while PenFed used to be a tiny bit more exclusive, where they would only let people in with like, you know, military or government affiliations, or make you make a donation to let you in, now they let anyone in as long as you qualify, you know, for the account, you know, social security number, all that good stuff, and maintain a balance of like five or 10 bucks in the savings account. The reason I bring this up for you guys is a reminder that even if you're not in the market now for a car, if you're a car person and you're planning to finance, a loan, or any loan in the future, not just a car loan, personal loan, credit cards, um, house, mortgages, student loans, anything, the earlier you you establish a relationship with a lender, the better it's gonna be for you because you're just gonna establish that solid history with them. So even if you just open an account and maintain a small balance in this account, at least the date that you open the account would say 2020, instead of 2021. Or for instance, if you took out a small loan or maintained a higher balance here, they would see that positive growth, which would benefit you for getting just on a, on a yes, no basis, it'll increase your chance of getting approved. And then secondly, it will increase your chance of getting a better rate because I mean, look at these rates. I mean, 2.14 for 60 months is a very competitive rate. 2.49 for 72 is even more competitive now, PenFed also offers the car buying service as well, which is a great, uh, they, well, they also offer all these extended warranties, gap protection, all that good stuff, but they also offer the car buying program powered by TrueCar, which allows you to get the absolute best rate possible because they have all these relationships with dealerships. Basically, if you put in a lead to that dealership ahead of time, for instance, the dealership that I'm going and getting the charger at, they are, you know, Gary Matthews Motors is a True Car certified pen fed car buying service certified program. So my rate goes down by 0.75% in this case. So it would go down from like high threes to either low threes or high twos for 72 months. So that is a, I mean, that's, that's saving money right there for you guys. So just a quick reminder, that's all this video was that pre-approval is very important. I'm not saying don't do dealer financing, just go in informed, go in sure that you can buy the car because if the dealer says, hey, we can't finance you for whatever reason, whether it's just a 2020 reason or it's a whatever reason, at least you can get the car still if, if it's a good deal and you actually know where your rate's at. Now, I will leave you with a few quick reminders. The first reminder is a tool that you can use to decide if the low interest rate, the low APR they offer you or the cash back incentive is better. So you guys know about power dollars. So for instance, if we put in the power dollars incentive right here for our scat pack Y body that we all love so much, and then we do our market finance rate. Say you guys did go through PenFed and get a 2.4% interest rate approved, and they were trying to offer you 0% or 4850 off those power dollars, you guys would obviously take the power dollars off because you'd be saving two and a half times the amount of money. You'd be saving 5,500 bucks instead of 2,800 or $2,080. Now, if your, you know, if your market finance rate was, let's say, five and a half percent, then that gets a lot closer to being, you know, a toss-up. Here, we'll just crank it up two more percent, seven point four percent, and that makes the low APR, if you were going to do zero percent, a much better option. So this is the Edmunds.com calculators low APR versus cash back calculator. It allows you to put everything in. As you put sales tax in, vehicle sales price, title registration, you can factor in your trade-in as well. So it does everything for you, kind of makes the decision nice and easy for you. Secondly, we have our four free stocks, which is valued at a minimum of $21. So if you go and sign up right now, transfer your first $100 into this trading account so you can start trading stocks with that, it's your money. 
they are going to give you a minimum of $21 of free stocks. That is the lowest amount of money you will get for putting in a hundred bucks. So you put in a hundred, you walk away with 121 that you could just take out once all the stocks settle. But those $21 stocks are worth potentially up to $1,600 if you are luckier than I am. So let me know if you guys end up signing up. Let me know what stocks you get. If you get a Facebook stock, you get a Tesla stock or some random stock like Levi's. Like I got a Levi's. Apparently Levi's stock's like 15 bucks or whatever. So I got a few of those. But um, let me know what you guys end up getting. I've had quite a few of you guys sign up. So I do appreciate that. It gives me some free stocks as well. Everybody likes free stocks. Appreciate you for tuning in. We're still doing our 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Apple AirPods Pro this time. I have my Powerbeats Pro. We're doing Apple AirPods this time, switching it up, keeping the Apple fanboys and fangirls happy. Appreciate you tuning in. I will see you tomorrow for the vehicle reveal that is not the 2021 Red Eye. And let me know what you guys think that is in the comments below. Thanks, and I'll see you for the next video.